Welcome to another Cutting with Cronkito video. Today we're talking about Sugihara bars. Do I like them? Would I buy them again? Yes? Yes. I have them on this saw. Wearing part of my other saw. Got smashed. Have them on this saw. Which is actually the bar off of my little saw that got squished. And have one on this saw. So. They've got fantastic craftsmanship. This is a Japanese bar. They've got replaceable tips, little plastic inserts. They wear very well. Perhaps they have a little more flex. I see it bends a little. But get used to it real quick. This one needs a new nose. It's getting rather worn, pointy. When you get them at first, the tip is black. That wears off. The branding wears off. Mostly, you see a little bit here. Oh, they're a little bit lighter. Better. They're a little bit lighter than factory bars. A little more flex. They don't seem to get, if you get a pinch, they don't seem to bend. I've never seen a bent Sugihara. So they always seem to bend back and we get a good couple of years use out of them. The price is real comparable to a factory bar. Look it's been in around $100 for the 20-24 inch size. When it's time to replace the nose, these three, one, two, three rivets hammer out. Slide the nose off, slide the new, pound on the new rivets, flat and flush, done. Excellent bars, most recommended. They look cool, look at that. I like them, I'll be buying them again. Place to get them is Weed Eater Man. He seems to have the best selection. He's got good customer service and his prices are about the same as everyone else's, so check him out. Check these out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, follow, whatever. <laughs> Till we meet again. See ya.